Welcome to my channel. I am Last Ketchum, and if you are joining me once again, mwah, I love you and appreciate every little moment, every like, every everything, guys. So I'm extra rambly right now, obviously, but I'm kind of stoked. Um, I got challenged by BK Phipps Four um, to do a five pop group challenge. Um, yeah, and guys, that could mean so many things. So like, I'm not gonna lie, just the process of trying to decide was exciting in itself. Cause I was like, do I do female villains? Do I do horror? Do I do zombies? Do I do like Batman? Cause Lord knows I've got more than enough Batman to do that. Um, but anyway, y'all, it took me a minute and I was like, Feel like if I go with Batman, it's like almost too predictable. So I was like, I'm gonna shake it up. So stay tuned because by the way, I will be challenging two people to do the same thing. But guys, just so you know, it can be anything. It can be villains, it could be colors, it could be whatever you want, but just five pops that go together under some type of theme or title, if that makes sense. So a group of five. Um, so again, I will be challenging two people at the end of this video. So I racked my brain. I had so much fun looking at pops, thinking of who could be my group. I picked out multiple groups and then I finally got settled on one that I just really like these. Um, I like these types of characters and there's a very old school classic vibe I feel to the choice that I'm picking even though there's a newer pop kind of mixed in with this or newer type of thing mixed in with this. Um, so my theme, as you probably caught in the title, is Stitched. Um, and by the way, y'all, I'm not talking Lilo and Stitch here. I'm talking about literal straight up stitches, y'all, because I was trying to figure out how do I mesh these all together. Um, I was like, do I call them reanimated? Do I call them like what? Like, I don't know. Uh, the undead. I was like, what do I call them? But I realized I was like, I'm gonna go with stitched because all the ones I have picked have been stitched together uh, in some way. Like I immediately thought of like the reanimator, but I'm like, not quite that vibe. But anyway, so I really, for those that don't know, I actually am a fan of like old school, like universal monsters. So that was kind of where my brain started. And then I kind of branched out into some other areas for some of these other pops. So let me show you the pops that I have picked for my group of five of stitched Funko Pops. So first one, the main man with his beautiful flower. Y'all, I have Frankenstein and this is the Walgreens exclusive glow in the dark Frankenstein number 607. And again, this is Universal Studio Monsters, which I hope and dream one day I can have all of the Universal Monsters, but for now, what I have, I am always happy with, because guys, I am not a completionist, so this makes me definitely happy and content as is. Now, mind you, one little thing, and of course, I have to like, <laughs> so I'm like, oh, have to point out the stitches, y'all. So of course, he's got his stitches there. Hopefully, y'all can kind of get a good glimpse at that, and they did a good job with him. Like, they actually have a different coloring. They're kind of silvery looking, like his bolts. Um, they did the same thing with the top of his head. Hopefully y'all can kind of see minus my light there. Actually, just kidding y'all. Look at me like imagining stuff. His head is not stitched. It's just a wound y'all. See, I guess it's like the box where for a second there I thought it was, but no, it is not. He definitely does have the staple in the top of his head, but again, stitches. We have the stitching where of course he was put to a mad scientist style. So anyway, our mad scientist friend Frankenstein, absolutely adore. And again, I really enjoy a lot of these, even the funny type shows where they had Frankenstein, which now I'm trying to remember. There was a Mel Brooks movie that was a Frankenstein movie. What was that called? Was it just called Frankenstein? I don't remember. Someone who's seen it, if you know what I'm talking about, I also really like that movie, even though I can't think of the name. Okay. Rambling way too much. Love Frankenstein. Absolutely adorable. Chilling with his flower. All right. So the next one to go with my stitched pops is, of course, his lovely bride, guys. So I have our monster here, the bride of Frankenstein. Love this entire 
line, okay? And now again, this is like not quite the same like set as that one, if that makes sense. This was a different older set and I really love this set. So this is the OG one. This is not the glow one, although he has the glow one here. So we have both, but this is the one that is mine. Um, and the crazy thing is, I feel like it's nuts that unless it's changed, the last time I had looked is they actually had the exact same value, which I'm like, how's the glow the same? But I feel like values can be really odd like that sometime, but I'm really excited to have this. And this is number 113. I love my 13. So totally digging that. Love her hair, everything about her. Wish I owned literally all of these. Anyway, also a huge Dracula fan, which, believe it or not, I do not own, which is crazy. So maybe one day that will change. Now, on the whole stitches side of it is, again, obviously, again, Mad Scientist vibes, something that has been stitched and put together. The only thing that I wish they would have done as well as with the Frankenstein, and I don't know if y'all can kind of see there where she's got her stitches and her marks, like, onto the side of her face... The stitches, they did the exact same color as the skin tone that she has, so they really don't stand out, you know? Like, I can see it well, but I mean, it all just kind of blends together. So that is like a detail that I wish they would have done on this one that I think really would have made it pop and stand out. So, you know, whatever. But again, when these are coming out as like $9, $10, $12 collectibles, Sometimes you lose out on some of those details because these don't originally start as very expensive, expensive, sweet lord, that's not even a word, y'all. They don't start as expensive collectibles. There we go. Separate those words, guys. Separate your words. But anyway, now, if you're getting higher in collectibles and things that are a lot more money, obviously that adds into more and more details and different things, but I still really enjoy this pop. I love it, and I love that I have both of them together. Oh my gosh. Anyway, y'all. So this pair here, this lovely couple is what motivated me to do this theme. Okay, guys, I got an important phone call right in the middle of filming this. So sorry for the quick like, I'm back. Okay. So moving on to the next one. So of course I have my beautiful couple, OG universal style couple. Um, and to go along that same universal monster line and one of the very few Freddies I have in my collection, uh, which huge shout out to my friend Will for making sure that I have a nice box. But I have whoopsh, Frank and Freddy, guys. I love this. I was so excited when this came out and I actually did a video on this forever ago. My original box uh, came in damaged, which this is actually the box. There's damage here. It's kind of crushed on the bottom, but I didn't want to pull my really nice one from up here. And my friend Will um, had noticed that I was really like, oh my God, I was so disappointed. I was so stoked to get this. And he was like, I got you. We'll get you that clean box. So anyway, but I love him. And of course, Stitch. See, maybe I was just confusing the two. And why is it that Frankenstein gets the detailed stitches, but not the Bride of Frankenstein? What's up with that? Because the Frank and Freddy, they actually stitched his head, whereas on the Frankenstein, they totally skipped the head wound there. And I don't know why. Different treatment, Freddy versus OG style. But either way, I absolutely love this. And if I was ever going to have a Freddy in my collection, I definitely am happy. I don't know how well you can see those stitches. There they are back there. Um, I really love that it got to be a universal monster. So I was pretty, pretty beyond excited to be able to add this guy. So again, stitches. All right, shaking it up a bit and like, and by up a bit, I mean, we are working out of the universal monster vibes into something a little bit different, but again, still under the theme of stitched for my grouping. Um, and the next one is, I think, a classic character. It's a Disney movie, um, and it's got those Halloween vibes, y'all. So from Nightmare Before Christmas, I have Sally seated with the ever adorable kitty cat. I absolutely love when they have little tiny companions like this. I think it's adorable. I love that we get a tiny bonus figure, and I love that she's seated because there aren't a ton of pops that are. Like, I know, I don't know if you can see it. Where is he back there? I've got, like, L with cake 
back here. He's actually next to my other Franken Freddy, and that's also one that is seated. And I enjoy that because it's just different because a lot of the pops aren't. Like there's fairly similar poses for tons of these. So I really appreciate being able to, again, just have a different pose, something unique, and I absolutely love this. And I also just really enjoy Sally, and I really enjoyed this movie, Nightmare Before Christmas. So this is one that I was able to pick up locally from a really sweet couple, and I'm really, really excited I was able to get her for my collection. So again, Sally Seated, number 209, and this is a Disney pop. Now this was also from the 2016 New York Comic Con. So really, really excited too to be able to get that. You know, I'm not always like huge on having to have stickers, but I really like it when I can get stickers. So basically like I enjoy them, but I don't go out of my way for them. But when I can have a unique sticker like this, it's just, it's really exciting guys. Really exciting. All right. So last but not least, oh yeah, see, I'm saying this and I'm just like jumping ahead. Obviously this is also Mad Scientist vibes stitched together and as you can kind of see there and for those that maybe aren't familiar with the movie which I'm like how are you not it's amazing you can see like down her face her mouth her legs even her arms like again she is literally stitched together so anyway continuing that theme now the last one is a little different on this isn't like again someone's creation but there are still stitched together body parts vibing with this Funko Pop. Um, this is one that I think is really cute. It's a fun line. I, I don't know. I just think this was a fun one. I did an IG picture of this one like forever ago um, but I like this and I thought some of these were really cute and there's another one that I have out of the same collection that I also really enjoyed which was the Udon Kitten. So out of the Tasty Peach line the last one for my five group stitched pops is the zombie alpaca guys i just thought this is too cute it's got a little smear there on that box this is number 86 again the tasty peach line zombie alpaca and i just think it is too cute you see his little rib cage there don't know how well we can see maybe i need to just get this bad boy out of the box but you can see in the imagery there his ears are stitched together um and there's that cute little kitty with his noodles okay let's get them out let's get a better look at these stitches guys but anyway i just thought these were fun and again there's just so many options with this one so i'm excited to see what other people do with this and what they pick because again it's like limitless it's just like whatever look at this oh my god he's so cute see his little stitched ears so again, just going with the stitches vibe, his little rib cage. Anyway, I think this is a great figure and I was really happy to add this to my collection. But anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Do you like my choice? Do you enjoy my grouping? You're gonna be like, no, it sucks. I'm kidding, whatever. <laughs> but I, like I said, I'm curious to see what else um, on BK, Fit for, BK Fips for uh, 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 channel. She went with a group that is like whole different vibe from mine. I think it's really fun. If you haven't checked it out, I'll have that video linked in the description down below. Why can I not talk guys? Oh my gosh, I need more coffee. Anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna have that link down below. Go show her some love, check out her choices. And I need to challenge a couple people. So I am challenging Tills Pops and James Dieter guys. So. Whenever y'all have time, if you feel like it, if you're up for it, I am very excited to see what group y'all choose to put together. And again, just five pops under any group you want to choose, whether that be color, themes. I mean, like, do whatever you want, y'all. Like I said, I was like, what do I even call this? Uh, stitched. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed this, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.